YTPC. Curmudgeon Piper. On a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Finally had a break in the rain. It's been raining for two days. We're getting a break and then it's going to rain for the next three or four days. So, I thought I'd steal some time with a pipe while I can. Preparing to smoke the La Rocca poker. Love this pipe. It's one of those that just fits perfectly in your hand and tobacco smokes well out of it. So the day after International Pipe Smoking Day. Yesterday didn't uh, didn't get to do all the stuff I'd wanted to do. If you were watching, I did a breakfast video and then I did a brunch video. I had planned on doing a lunch and a dinner video, but uh, some other things got in the way, so I wasn't able to do the lunch and the dinner. So what I've decided to do is stretch International Pipe Smoking Day into International Pipe Smoking Days, weekends, the weekend. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a tin. An unop I'm going to open an unopened tin of tobacco. Uh, today, tomorrow, and probably Saturday. Or Sunday. Depending on the weekend it is. So I'm going to start today with uh, something I was going to do yesterday. But uh, didn't have the opportunity. So several weeks ago I was... Uh, blessed to win uh, a giveaway on one of Simon London Collins live feeds and uh, you've already seen this stuff but I want a falcon pipe and I want a tin of squadron leader that I've never had never tried and the date is hopefully you can see it December of 2013. So it's got a little over five years. But this was um, gifted to Simon from Danny Shore. And so this is the tribute to Danny Shore International Pipe Smoking Day edition of the Commercial Piper Channel. So without further ado, go. Maybe. Pardon me. Uh, Got to go in another direction here. Pipe tamper didn't want to work. I preferred not to tear up the tin. So let's see if the Swiss Army knife will. And it did. Hmm. Boy, you could smell that as soon as the tin popped. Uh, this was one of my unicorn blends for a while. Until I won it. Oh my gosh. Hmm. It's never been opened. Yes, ma'am. So I hope that you all had a very enjoyable IPSD. I did. I enjoyed the uh, Frog Morning Cellar and the Cold Blood Red Moon that the Divine Miss Lee allowed me to aromatic up the house with. But this is what I was really looking forward to, and I, I hated I wasn't able to 
pop in and uh, and do this yesterday. But such is life. Almost an elbow shot. Charring light is good. I get that uh, <clears throat> kind of raisiny. Room note coming off of it. So Danny Shore. Danny, if you're tuning in. First of all, for those of you who don't know who Danny Shore is, longtime member of the YTPC. A wealth of knowledge. On this lifestyle that we lead, fantastic guy from his from his videos. My El Paso disposal camper. So yeah, Danny's got a great channel. If you're not subbed to Danny, Danny hasn't posted anything in several months due to uh, some pretty significant health issues uh, in the form of brain cancer. So the Divine Miss Lee and I have added Danny into our prayers and pray that uh, pray for healing. And better days, brother. Better days. So for you folks out there who are even newer to YTPC than I am, go check out Danny Shore and Sue Dunhill too. I am blessed to have this tobacco. First light, first smoke is fantastic. Sadly, very difficult to get. Although there are ways. So if you find the opportunity, I highly recommend you grab a, a tin of it. So why relegate pipe smoking to just one day? I don't. So hopefully, prayerfully, I'll see you again tomorrow. With a brand new tin, we'll try something different. Maybe Cabby's Mixture, maybe Three Oaks. I don't know. Something different.
to stretch out in our National Pipe Smoking Day. It needs more than just one day. You folks be well, be humble, be grateful for all that you have, and I'll see you again soon.